In a sport known for fierce combat, <laughs> these teams are fast friends because neither was supposed to be here. Anybody not understand? Raise your hand. I love the sport. It's the best sport ever, I think. These are the boys from Hyde Charter, an inner city school in Washington, D.C. Ten years ago, Hyde became the nation's first all African American high school rugby team, despite the ugly stereotypes they battled along the way. Like, all color children is bad. Like, they will break into your car, rob you, or always want to fight. And the main thing we, we focus on doing is actually proving them wrong. So last year, when the model secondary school for the deaf was looking to start their own rugby team, they found the perfect inspiration. We both face a lot of stereotypes, like because we're African American and because they're deaf, people think there's a, there's a difference. They're similar kids, just like us. The only thing they just can't really hear. From the scrum to the ruck to the mall, the high boys taught the model boys a new sport and a few life lessons too. I really feel that there's a brotherhood there. Sometimes communication can be difficult, but like they do try and we, you know, we work out gestures and we, you know, we, we kind of communicate as well. And it, I mean, it really works out. In the past, they thought that deaf people couldn't do it. And now they know they can. The kids from model rugby took to the sports so quickly that a game was scheduled against Hyde last year. Guess who won? Model. The students beat the teachers. If I'm going to lose anybody, I, I'd love to lose a model. And you beat them. Yeah, last year we did. In a long-awaited rematch last month, Hyde won, though it's pretty tough to say anyone lost. Now, another team that's fighting against the odds to play. This season, the model school girls became the first female deaf rugby team in the nation. You think you can beat the boys? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With our strategy, I think we should definitely do that. A reminder that rugby is about a lot more than knocking people down. Okay. It's also about lifting them up. Jeff Glor, CBS News, Washington.